One of the most useful features of clinicalskills.net is the ability to keep an organised account of your continuing professional development record and generate a report within an NMC-approved form. It's a great way to keep you organised and help you focus. So here's how to create your own personal CPD record. First, you must be logged in to your individual user account. If you're new to this, then see the setting up a user account video first. And to avoid doubt, remember to check your name is in the logged in section, not your institution's name. There'll also be five options on the dashboard, not two. Here's the important one my performance and cpd click on that then select my cpd logs the first time you do this you have to select create a new cpd record the nmc requirements are outlined here so have a read and if you want to see an example of a completed form there is one available You'll also need to know your own personal revalidation date. If you need to check this, click on this NMC link. It'll ask for your email address and your NMC PIN number. Armed with your revalidation date, you can now set up your CPD record. For the title, we recommend using something straightforward. You can change this at any time. Next, enter the date of the CPD event. Then, the method. Choose one of the headings listed. For example, if you'd participated in a relevant tweet chat, that would be participatory learning. Or, if you're recording your study of procedures or tests on clinicalskills.net, it would be online learning. Next, list the topic and key points of the activity. If you need to see an example to guide you, there's always one available, and it's here on this link. Then select the items that best represent the relevance to the NMC code and enter them here. Record the number of hours this activity took. And if this involved participatory learning with others, then enter the time here. When you're done, click Continue. You'll be shown a summary of your entry and then you must click save. You wouldn't want to lose it. That'll take you back to the start page for My CPD Logs. From here you have the option to download the record you've created. You can print it or save a copy on your computer, but it'll stay on the clinical skills system for access whenever you need it. Should you need to edit the entries at any stage, you just click on the Edit button. You can also do an instant update to your CPD record from within a procedure you're studying. Here's an example. Let's go back to the Administration of Medicines procedures. When you get to the end of the procedure, you have the option to edit an existing CPD record or create a new one. We'll edit the one we've just created and add another log to it. As before, you fill in the relevant sections and when you're done, click Continue. You'll see the summary, then Save. And if you want to see your updated CPD form, click Download. 
And there you have it. The extra entry with the new total number of CPD hours completed. It gives you a clear idea of where you stand as you head toward the 35 hour CPD target. Don't forget you can enter all relevant CPD, not just your clinical skills activity. Anything you do that can be classified as CPD can be entered in the clinical skills system. This is a fantastic way to stay organised over the term of each CPD reporting period. At any stage you can check where you are in terms of hours and when the time comes for your revalidation meeting with your manager, you'll have everything in the NMC approved style. Remember, if you have any questions about this, email info at clinicalskills.net.